Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a little news update. My name's Camel, and today on Twitter, a follow and friend of mine, Scarlet Moth, the same one that cosplayed Almalexia from Morrowind, informed me that ZeniMax Media had filed for a new trademark called Redfall. Before we get into that, you're probably wondering where I've been for the last eight weeks or so. It's because I've been working on Fallout 3's Easter egg video for eight weeks straight, doing 14 hour days, seven days a week, and I'm as ready as you are for that video to be done. But that is neither here nor there when it comes to Redfall. So in case you don't know, ZeniMax Media owns Bethesda Game Studios and it owns Bethesda Softworks. It owns a bunch of other studios as well, but given the name of this trademark, we're going to assume that it's for Bethesda Game Studios. Of course, at E3 this year, they revealed um, the Elder Scrolls 6's revealed teaser trailer, whatever you want to call it, and after studying that 30 seconds of footage thoroughly, I came to the conclusion that it was showing us Hammerfell, home of the Red Guards. If you haven't seen my video where I actually go through all of the evidence pointing towards it being Hammerfell, you can check that out here. But again, the conclusion of all of the research that I could do was that, yeah, we were seeing Hammerfell. So naturally, the Elder Scrolls 6 teaser trailer, it looks like Hammerfell, along with a bunch of other evidence. Elder Scrolls 6 is probably going to be in Hammerfell. A lot of people said, I think it's in High Rock. And I never said that it wasn't going to be in High Rock as well or at all, it's just that what we saw in the Tigza trailer was definitely Hammerfell. So what does this name mean, Red Fall? Surely it would be called Hammerfell, or High Rock. Well, if we take a look at the Elder Scrolls main series, past installments, only two of them have been named after the province that the game takes place in. The Elder Scrolls 1, Arena. Arena is it a province. The Elder Scrolls 2, Daggerfall. Daggerfall is in a province. That's a city within the province of High Rock. The Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. Now, Morrowind is a province, but the Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind takes place on Vardenfell, which is like 30% of Morrowind, and the other 70% we haven't seen yet. So technically, Morrowind is the province that Vardenfell is on, we just didn't see most of the province of Morrowind. The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, Oblivion is in a province, that was the name of the crisis that was taking place, and then the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, Skyrim is the name of the province. So apart from Morrowind and Skyrim, all the other games aren't named after where they're set, or at least the province where they're set. So could the Elder Scrolls VI be called something like Redfall? Definitely. And if we came to the conclusion that we were looking at Hammerfell and the Iliac Bay and possibly High Rock as well, what does Redfall mean? Well, the Red Guards live in Hammerfell, but you will notice that it's Hammerfell, not Hammerfall. But in High Rock, Daggerfall is the name of a very big and prominent city of High Rock. It's not the capital of High Rock. Wayrest is actually the capital of High Rock. And just in case you're wondering, Sentinel is the capital of Hammerfell. The city that the Elder Scrolls II Daggerfall is named after is in High Rock, that city being Daggerfall. Red Guards, Daggerfall, Redfall. I don't know, maybe the Red Guards, their kingdom's falling. Maybe the Red Guards are taking over Daggerfall. I'm definitely not suggesting that this confirms anything, but considering all evidence pointed towards the teaser trailer being in Hammerfell, the fact that we suddenly have a trademark from Zenimax with Red Fall, and of course Red Guards being from Hammerfell, it's a bit like, hmm, it's not confirming anything, but it's definitely like moving in that right direction. So at this point, we definitely don't have anything super solid to go off, but I thought I would let you all know because as we can see here, this thing was made eight days ago and I'd only just heard of it thanks to Scarlet. So I thought we should bring it up as a discussion and I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on Redfall, how you think that can fit into Hammerfell and High Rock, and also what you think Redfall means, and whether you think it is, in fact, the name of the Elder Scrolls VI, or if it's something else under ZeniMax's wing. And if you were wondering, all the footage in this video is from the Elder Scrolls Online. Everything you have seen and will see is from Hammerfell and from High Rock. Of course, Redfall, Redguard, Daggerfall, putting the two together, Hammerfell and High Rock. I think this is a pretty likely combination, having two provinces in one game. I mean, time's moving on, the gaming industry is changing, Bethesda Game Studios is going to go big dick with this game. It would not surprise me if they went two provinces instead of one province like they traditionally have. And I would actually really like the combination of Hammerfell and High Rock as, look, Hammerfell goes from everything from like tropical piratey areas to thick, vast deserts, 
dry badlands, huge rocky areas, kind of Sahara type vibes with some forests, some plains. Then that moves up into High Rock where we have stony spiry crags of a riven spire. I mean, there's forests, swamps, and all the way up in the north, High Rock even has some snowy mountainous areas like in Skyrim. So we could get everything from that, like a Skyrim vibe, all the way down to a tropical pirate vibe down in the Abyssian Sea. And if you haven't already, you should definitely check out my full video where we explore what the Elder Scrolls 6 would be like if it was set in High Rock. I haven't done one yet for Hammerfell, but the one for High Rock, it's like 55 minutes. And the reason for that is because High Rock is insane. There's a lot of lore and there's a lot of cool stuff that we have yet to see in High Rock. So Redfall, I think that this is definitely a potential name for the Elder Scrolls 6. Again, if we look at stuff like Oblivion or Daggerfall or Arena, these names aren't the provinces they're in. So Redfall definitely could be. Also, a common theme throughout the Elder Scrolls games is conflict disarray. There's always big trouble in wherever the game is set. And if you paid any attention to the lore on Hammerfell and High Rock given during Skyrim, well, Hammerfell and High Rock are in a really bad way, especially Hammerfell. They were part of the Empire, then the Empire handed them over to the Thalmor, and the Red Guards were like, um, no, actually. So they're technically owned by the Thalmor. No one in Hammerfell wants that. So they're basically fighting back the Thalmor, and they've been abandoned by the Empire, and the whole area is a big mess. So it's definitely a hot spot and prime real estate for the common theme of brokenness within the Elder Scrolls gaming series. So I'm definitely interested to hear your thoughts on this. Hopefully together we can put some pieces together and make something a little bit clearer out of this trademark Redfall. So thanks very much for watching. Um, I do hope to see you again very soon. Again, I've been working on this Fallout 3 Easter egg video for eight weeks straight. And at the moment I'm doing like 30 hour work shifts where it's just awake and working for 30 hours to try and get this thing done before the end of the month. I want this video done as much as anyone else and I cannot wait for it to be done and for you to enjoy the monolithic masterpiece that it will be. But until then, I'm keen to hear your thoughts on Redfall. Thanks again to Scarlet for letting you know and I'll see you all again, hopefully very soon, in the next video. I'll see you then.